This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Uh, this is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest with myself, Kevin Davis. We are Music Love Life. Welcome to another episode. Welcome. Mm-hmm. Welcome to our home. You got some real home. Not really. Um, I did from Super Bowl though. I did. Today I just Because it, it was boring. Easy. <laughs> no. During Super Bowl or from Super Bowl? No, from the weekend. There was a lot of events going on over the weekend. Yeah, it was definitely busy. Yeah. Very, so. very, very, very busy. I didn't I didn't go downtown at all. I did. I went downtown three times in one day. How, well, but traffic to and from wasn't like ridiculous? It wasn't good. Yeah. But I didn't have a choice. They said a million people came. You believe that? A million? Yeah. I didn't go to the game, nor did I go to the Super Bowl Live. So So it wasn't a million fan march? I didn't see but I'm sure there were just from the looks of what there were definitely you know, there. a ton of people. Yeah. I well, I saw I'm... videos and stuff, but I, you know, I didn't, I, I didn't feel the need to. Good for you. To be yeah. a part of that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was in the hot spots and the tourist spots. Like I, I had some people tell me that Lenox Mall looked like martial law had taken over. Like they had yeah. police like every five. I saw feet. the AKs or we're not AKs, but the AR 15s and stuff. The the cops were wearing. Yeah, I went to, like Ti had a skate party at Cascade. Welcome to Atlanta skate party. So we were we pull up to to valet, and there's a, a police <laughs> officer standing outside with a, like a, a a war rifle. No, they had like, tactical rifles. What Seriously. is Chapo. like what is what is happening? Why are we um. Why the, are we the threat? They just want to make sure that they're, if there were, there were like threat, several of them. Like I've never seen that type of gun. It's kind of like how black people when they when they get somewhere and they're nervous, they just get real loud and like boisterous. So that way nobody better not mess with me. Yeah, it is. It is the police version of we got a problem here, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, you, you see that thing? It's you not know. even like that because you pull up and it's just it's just there. It's like there, and I, I was like, what is? Whoa, that's a that's a that's <laughs> that gun. It's a big gun. <laughs> But you know, I, I don't do they do they like suspend the carry permits or whatever during events like this? Because I didn't see anybody. Mm-hmm. Normally in Atlanta, you see people carrying guns for absolutely no reason. Right. You're like true. What? <laughs> Why? But I didn't see any of that around Atlanta. I don't this know weekend. that they suspended that, especially with all those people in town. Yeah, I don't know that they suspended that. <laughs> now there a lot of TSA had um Probably still calling out, so I don't know if some guns are got they through the airport. Are, are we still? Yeah, they shut the government opened back up. I, as some people were saying on, on the other show, No Nonsense Show, that Trump opened the the government just because he knew Super Bowl was going to happen. He may have, and the airports were going to be crazy. Anything if they is had. possible with Trump. Anything is is possible. He probably did it for the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for the crab. Uh, he yeah. may have. He may have. I believe he owes that. Tom a favor. Right. That Shit sounds like that. that sounds just about right because would, that would have been. Insane Hellish yeah. yeah 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 Insane Yeah Well you know We're back We're back to Normal I guess uh, My wife flew out Of town on Tuesday uh, Last week And she said it, it. She assumed She she had prepared For a four hour Like oh. prepared Yeah But it didn't It didn't happen it went, She's sailing right through So Good So we're Government is definitely open Okay Thank well, you Thank you Donald out. Trump Say it I, Say it Say thank you Donald Trump Ain't nobody look, saying that. Look at the camera and we say We wouldn't it. have had... We, 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 it should never have been shut down. I no, mean, this nigga didn't just try me. There right. still is not a wall. I mean, we're not we're not doing it. Y'all, y'all refuse to say thank you, Donald you Trump. You want to do a wall? You want a wall? Say no wall? to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Ain't nobody thanking him. That's my, that's my new hashtag. Okay. That's not gonna. It's not gonna pick up steam. You want the wall? No. <laughs> it's not gonna pick up steam. No to you the want wall. the wall, though? Sure. Why do you want the wall? Uh, as a symbol. A symbol of what? Uh, we not playing. I mean, because it's not gonna really stop with Mexico. From, it's not gonna, but that's where all. Why the, not a statue? Would that be a symbol? No, no, no. It has, it has to be something like we mean business. Even even though everybody knows that that the wall's not the only way people get in. Man, right, Don't they shoot like people that? now that are trying to come in? Sure. Okay, so you think that a wall is gonna keep them from? Yeah, because all you gotta shoot the people who are who are getting in to, to get shot won't be able to get in that way anymore. <laughs> they have to, to swim underneath the wall. There's no swimming. Under, that's that's. There's no digging under the wall. There's no swimming under. That's okay. silliness. Are, is are, it? Is silliness? Are, yeah. are you sure that there aren't tunnels under current walls? There may be. There may be those now. <laughs> it's not but, a you gotta, but you gotta be. It either in, is or is not. You gotta be in the know to know about the catacombs. They don't just give that information to everybody. Uh, 
many people make it well, easy? It was, it was actually on the news. <laughs> right, but you you know that they exist. However, there's thousands and thousands of miles. What are you just gonna guess? I'm just gonna walk I mean, thousands. There could be where it is. Huh? Well, yeah, where I mean, where the, the where mouth? Is? You don't think there could be informants? Yeah, there could be, but I'm okay. saying everybody won't all the Mexicans won't know that. You know what? You look like a gringo. I don't think they're gonna tell you no way. They would never tell me because I'd be like, I'm telling mm-hmm. there that I'm I'm just trying to make sure we know who Americans are and who Americans aren't. That's all. It's time. Who Americans aren't. It's time. Please. You well, know, half of you. No, would... I even knew that uh, 21 Savage wasn't. Right. Hey, how do what we know? The fuck? So you who know, isn't, who I, isn't? I've interviewed his dad twice. His dad is a doctor. Here? Yeah. In Atlanta, I mean? Yeah. Okay. His name is Dr. Amsu. He would come from a good home. Yeah. Right, of course. Rapping all That's that That's how it shit. always is. You're right. His uh, dad is a... You know what? It's this, a knife. If, <laughs> If nothing else, this made me realize that Amber Rose was really fishing. Not only was he young as hell, but he also come from fa- from barely, wealth. He went, comes from wealth and barely understands the traditions of the right. country. Yeah. And she goes and scoops him up. Of course, he was in love. You I didn't think like, she was fishing? She, I knew she was fishing, but I didn't man. know the I didn't know the depth. I mean, what that is, she had gone to? Okay, so tell me what Amber she does. Rose is R. Kelly. <laughs> no, we're just not going to talk about that. R. Kelly has talent. Fight me Touche I mean ain't nobody Gonna pick up that fight I'm gonna leave it right there Yeah I kinda <laughs> had to Shut the fuck up on that. <laughs> now she did have I'm not gonna She had a very exotic look You know the bald head The big blonde bald head You know But you tell me th- lips. That can't happen anywhere else That happens It can so- but she did it first And really you know what I, I really am gonna give Kanye props for that I feel like Kanye was like This is a good look for me yeah. You should come out With your bald blonde head I think head. Ye sti- Yeah I think Kanye styled her You're Because remember right. he Because he styles Kim Yeah and and I feel like he thought this is a good trendy look. It's a good look for it me. It worked. Yeah, it did. It, it, it worked. She needs to give all praise to Kanye for her being able to, you know, yeah. get child support. I don't, I don't, yeah, child support. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if she gets spousal support, but she definitely gets good child support. Yeah. 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 She's making America great again. So what were you arguing with me about in the group chat? I can't remember exactly, but I know you were arguing about something. The Super Bowl. But, but, <laughs> no, not necessarily the Super Bowl. I couldn't, that's the, I didn't the know. the boycott. You, you said Jay-Z, you said the Super NFL Bowl, you said boycott. Cap. Oh, settle in, guys. It's going to okay. be a long ride. So, <laughs> so I, I put a post up on my social media, and I asked people, The I asked, first question went up, said, <laughs> NFL boycotters, what did you accomplish? A bunch of it, people said they right. got this, they got that, you know, what? and so on and so forth. What were some of the things that were they did accomplish? Share with us. What the people who boycotted? Yeah. It's your post, nigga. Tell us. I think. <laughs> shut up. I think. <laughs> I think uh, the people that did it, they, it was a more of a. I guess I want to say a moral sense of victory. Um, because there's not because there's not necessarily a way to measure or quantify the impact, right? Crystal. Not like an official way to say. Um, we don't even know how many people boycotted. Well, I mean, well, you just <laughs> we don't. But Kevin, you just unraveled your story. So you just unra- <laughs> just unraveled it. Okay, what you can't measure you, it. What what, what 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 do you mean moral? Meaning, some people felt good for having stood up for something or a cause that they believe in. They felt that um, that they were unified in a way mm-hmm. for the boycotters versus the the non boycotters. So that's so I asked them, yeah, like what did those who boycotted? What did you accomplish? Yeah. And then you know there were a lot of non boycotters yeah. who said you did nothing, <laughs> nothing. But they didn't. I mean, what did what did they accomplish? Because there's well, not see, here's the thing. So here's because the... see, this is the problem. Okay, and I, and I hate this because I I I didn't watch the Super Bowl because. I don't watch Super Bowls, okay? Oh, okay. I don't. I only watch halftime shows with Beyonce. She watched the Puppy Bowl, I bet. I You're one I of those. watched actually Love After Lockup, which is amazing. It's an amazing show on We that is like the biggest train wreck. I could not look away. I I watched it on on demand. But this is my point. Out of the non boy out of the boycotters, some of them participated in Super Bowl esque activities, right? While others boycotted all the activities. Like several of my friends that were boycotting the Super Bowl went to Super Bowl parties, even went to Super Bowl Live. So it's kind of like so. Then you have the 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 true boycotters that were like, "I'm not going to any NFL events." 
at all. Then there's the one that's like, well, I will party. You know, a Rolling Stone has a Super Bowl party. I'm not going to turn it down, but I'm not going to go to the actual game. Then there are some of those boycotters that only were okay boycotting because they were Saints fans and they didn't <laughs> care about the Rams or the Patriots anyway, and they didn't want to see Adam Levine perform. So I think within that boycotter, there was a lot of separation in what we're willing to do, what we're not willing to do. What are we all doing during the Super Bowl? Are we all putting up like, there was no unification in the movement, like, People were just like, I'm not watching. Are you? Where was Cap? There was no sign. Where did sign. he need to be? I, I he to be le- she said they needed a leader, he right? Need, he needed to be walking around town. Well, there should have been something to do. Something, yeah. or, or even like, I don't even think an event. He's Colin like, Kaepernick, some not Huey Newton. Of, you know what? I think would have been great solidarity on you on the boycotters part if they had all put up the same social media, like the, you know, the, like the fist mm-hmm. or a picture of Cap, you know, taking a knee. Like, I think... Something should have to show who are these people like there because right now we don't know the number we don't know who just didn't watch it because they didn't like the teams who didn't watch it because they didn't like the halftime show who didn't watch it because of the actual cause behind it who didn't watch it because they wanted to tell their friends they weren't but well, actually most, were most people watched it. <laughs> mm, I yeah, uh, uh, according to Nielsen, go ahead, and every other news outlet, go ahead. The Super Bowl ratings yes. are the lowest. Yes. They actually, this they've entire season was lackluster. They've never been. Lowest they've this ever been. This entire NFL season right. was lackluster. Absolutely. And it's the lowest ratings in at they, least 10 years. Ever been. But did you read a little further or did you get the headline? Oh, no. Enlighten me. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> wow. I wow. You. It's just too easy. Chris, <laughs> share, <laughs> it's, 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 share, so, share with me the info, so I, read, I, I read the, the headlines, too. And... um. <laughs> At first, I was like, oh, wow, dip low below 100 million. But then I read a little further. Um, why would something on a network dip below what it normally dips? Crystal, you can help me if you want, because I mean, it's pretty obvious. What are people doing nowadays that they weren't doing back when? They're, they're watching it on their phone. Oh, so streaming services weren't counted <laughs> in that. You're right, they weren't. <laughs> oh, YouTube TV had free, free like month if you if you sign up and watch the Super Bowl, you get like a free month. YouTube TV. Well, well, Direct wait, TV first now- of all, CBS was the only licensed outlet. So everybody had to watch CBS. Uh, Even no. if you streamed it, it came from CBS. Oh, but that's not what's counted. CBS no, was no, the no. only licensed outlet no. for the Super Bowl. CBS the is the only licensed. They, they, they know they. they Licensed Nielsen. other people, yes, yeah. but but the Nielsen ratings were only for net the, the yeah, network. Yeah, it's not for streaming. So it was actually over 100 million. It was 107 or 100, but it was either 107 or 109. Do you know what the record for the most watched is? What's the record? Anybody know? I don't. 114. So we're talking about a swing of about seven million. <laughs> mm-hmm. But let's let's hold on. Let's do this though. So 100 107 million to 114 million. That's a that's seven million people, right? That's seven million people. That's a lot of people. So you're gonna say but about it's still half of those are watching. 107 on. million people. Right. But guess what, Crystal? You're gonna say half of them are watching. On There's their a phone. shitload of white. The, the the NFL's fan base is 83 uh, percent white. Okay, hold on a second, sir. Crystal, let me ask you a question. I'm this is us. Numbers. Yeah. Give me some of what you think their numbers are on the episode. Um, 30. 30 million. Yeah. That's a very good That's a very good guess. Yeah. This is it. Happens to be one of the most watched things of all time. It does. If we're talking about 107 million and 30 million, there's nothing between the highest watched show and this lackluster, pitiful <laughs> Super Bowl. Super Bowl. I mean, it's a it's a it was it's an abyss. It was pitiful, and yet still pitiful? they got the ratings. They they just didn't get the ratings that they always get, and well, they're and not the record. Yeah, the record mm-hmm. is one fourteen. Yeah, that's I mean that's that's mis- it's a misleading headline to to promote the propaganda of the of the moment. Uh. Let this guy tell it. Jay Z had everybody picking. It. I saw Travis Scott on stage. I, <laughs> he was. I saw stage. Travis Scott on stage. Did he not I also was Jay's very call? proud when Along I saw Big, Big Boy. Boy. That's what that's say what I wanted ATL to ask home. you about that because so you tuned in for the halftime show and then tuned back. Out social media, that shit was everywhere. It's on, uh, but no, because you said I felt pride <laughs> when Big Boy. And I'm like, I was proud, but Come that on, man. sounds like you're it's watching one thing it to say, while it happens. No, that's though. some hood shit. It, it's one thing to say ATL ho locally, 
Right. But to get it on the Super Bowl and they don't believe it. On the it, world stage. But why did that make you proud? That's just some nigga shit. Because I'm a little that ratchet. Was just, yeah, that was I'm just some nigga ratchet. shit. I, I sound, like understand why. I got why good sense, but hey, people I, thought, I, like, I enjoy some like, nigga shit. Oh, I like when he said ATL. Hold on. I'm like, but but why? That's just something we've you, said forever. Is that what you want people to yes, get from fuck us? Them. That's yes. the ATL slogan. Yeah, there's no better way to shit on the Super Bowl than to say ATL ho and they don't know what you're saying because they're not cool enough and they just let it keep, they keep let it repeat. Mm. <laughs> and everybody starts saying it, ATL ho. <laughs> yeah, they did. And they're like, whoa. Hey, they're letting like that go. That? You guys like that? I did like that. Mm. I didn't like Adam Levine as part of the trio with Big Boy and Sleepy Brown. <laughs> when they were doing the little, the little yeah, bop, was, the little dance move, yeah, I didn't like that. What are you doing? Get, <laughs> sit your ass down. Well, but you know what? See, it. here's he here's very, the thing. I wonder did he get some of those tattoos just for the Super Bowl, <laughs> right. or was that just all? Because he had a lot of tattoos. I didn't know he had that many, but I mean, I was like, okay, okay. I, I heard some some people say that as well. And see, see, here's the thing that they're. Of course, there's no way to quantify. We don't know how many people actually boycotted so on and so forth. Not many, right? Okay, so let me ask you this. If someone is messing with you, let's say it's your child. There's a, there's a bully that's messing with him. Right. And they, every time he sits down in class, whatever, they don't want him in the classroom, and he was supposed to get whatever, so on and so forth, right? Keeps messing with him. This bully keeps messing with your child. Are you going to tell your child, nah, you shouldn't do nothing? It's just too big. You don't, you don't dare attack. You're, what? you're, you're worthless. It's nothing. Do you tell, do you tell your child to not defend themselves or protect themselves just because the bully is too large? But no, what is, but, but, what but does exactly that mean? same thing. What that means is for all the people who boycotted the NFL, what did the NFL despite, ever do to somebody? Listen, other than what they've always done, despite the NFL having all this money, despite people saying that you weren't going to do anything, mm -hmm. so what? Even if you hit like a bitch, you take a swing. We respect you more if you take a swing. Did, did the biggest uh, did, did the biggest recording artist in the world take a swing? The who do you consider the biggest recording the artist? Who, the one who sold out that concert and had motherfuckers turned away. You agree? Bruno. And no, the other one. Cardi. Yes. <laughs> She's the biggest celebrity. Yeah, she She's is. the biggest uh -huh. she is artist the biggest in the thing. world. Uh-huh. She is. And, 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 she, and, and she the NFL away? had a and I think that was well, another did, that was actually. another she victory did. for the NFL boycotters. So? Because she did. They had a hard time filling those slots. They couldn't find an act who was willing to They found accept. the biggest artist in the world. No, they no, they didn't. No, they didn't. And they still delivered a lackluster show. How do you know? It was a, it was that a wasn't lack, film. Now, hold it was on, a lackluster How show. You know it this? was boring. <laughs> no, because black people are over the top when okay. we do shit. Okay. How did he know I, the concert? If, if it was, wasn't, if black people that, were really wholeheartedly the involved, the there was some spice. <laughs> what are you talking about? You talking about Adam Levine and them? Yes. I'm talking about Cardi B. Cardi B and Bruno Mars The Mars night before, the, the night sellout before. show. Yeah, I they didn't shut see that. It, they that's, shut downtown. Yeah, when I say the biggest artist in the world, I'm talking about Cardi B. Yeah, and then second, okay. Bruno She didn't Mars. take a swing. Yeah. yeah, and Bruno, I mean, Bruno Mars is nothing. You don't shake a stick at him. I mean, like, that's that's a big-ass artist, too. But yeah. Cardi B is the biggest artist in the world right now. Right. She sold the, the crowd out. And yeah, she didn't take a she swing. She did. Somewhere. Well, no, she did. She Because she was actually asked to do the halftime show. Okay. And she turned that down. And she said that she had to sacrifice a lot of money to stand with... Colin Kaepernick. How much? How much you think she made to to, to headline <laughs> the night that, before. that night before? <laughs> you know she made a lot of money. She did, but she could have made more doing a Super Bowl halftime. Does she need more? I'm gonna give, no, but I'm I think, gonna give it to her. I think like, it would have been. I think it's watch. more impactful for her to do it the way she did it. Because I know she wanted to perform. <laughs> Everybody knows she wanted to perform. She Everybody, did. <laughs> and she even said that she had mixed feelings about it. But it was like the night I am before. giving up a lot. She did say that. I just said that she said that she sacrificed a lot. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. However, she did perform the night before to a sold to a sold out audience, and, and did a Pepsi commercial also. And and a Pepsi commercial the night before. Hold on, my my co-host on Black and Blue Sides tell, <laughs> says this. And I don't, I'm not sure if this is true or not. There are only two other artists who have ever had a Super Bowl Pepsi commercial ever. Britney Michael Jackson and no no Black Michael Jackson Beyonce. and Beyonce. Yeah, Beyonce. Is that true? I believe so. Michael Jackson, Beyonce, Black. and motherfucking Cardi, Cardi B. B. Yeah, Cardi, Car yeah, that because Pepsi doesn't just Pepsi is not Fair welcoming enough. to the urban acts as Coke is. You what? know, Pepsi is not. Pepsi is very eh, that's non. Sprites the black soda. It is. Okay. Well, Coke, is. Coke does some more more urban things than Pepsi. Like I said, you, you're going to see Michael Jackson, which was when we were. Kids, tiny kids, kids. right? Mm -hmm. And then Beyonce, who was the biggest artist in the world, like Cardi. So it's like, mm, I don't really like. That's, that's not really urban. That's just okay. You guys are 
pop, they're the biggest artist in the world. You know, that's how I know she's the biggest artist. I'm, yeah, I don't even, right. I don't even hesitate when I say that. She's yeah, the biggest artist. In the I only saw two people with Pepsi: Cardi B and Lil Jon. So. She has Well he was just in there On by default Yeah he wasn't yeah. He, he wasn't the focal point <laughs> But She She did a Pepsi commercial That aired during Super Bowl And everybody knew It was airing during Super Bowl It was, it was for it the was Super Bowl so, It was for the Super Bowl And mm-hmm. then she performed uh, The night before I don't want to take this money saying, The boycotters Are all divided Like some are like We don't p- participate Others are like We do Others are like ATL ho It's like why <laughs> Watch it How are you happy About the halftime show Like I ain't watched That Super Bowl But I sure did get happy When Big Boy said ATL hold During the Super Bowl That was like, That was what? That was tight like That it. clip is, is also Floating around I love Social it. media I'm it sure is, you're aware But you're pushing it out Because guess what If I'm NFL PR I'm excited Because you're still Pushing out What happened During the Super Bowl Right I hate that he killed All those squirrels For that jacket though But that ATL Those was a, not a squirrel. Was, was a chinchilla. Oh, nah, man. Peter was mad. Peter wasn't mad about no squirrels. Nigga, nigga. That's, that was a lot of chinchillas. That was. That, I mean, he's a little guy. He's not real tall, but that thing was almost to his ankles. <laughs> that would have fit you, Kevin. It was. A full, it was a full. It was a full chinchilla. Full length. It was a full length. It was flowing. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. I think that. I think that we are not able to. Um, we are not able to do. Active boycotts because we're just too divided. Like it, it won't work. It's yeah. just we're just not willing to. We're not willing to give. We're not up. willing to not go to work on the we're bus not. and walk to work. I, well, not and, anymore. And see, the, I think the rules for the boycott are very unclear, and a lot of people don't well, know what no counts rules. and what. Yeah, there, weren't any there rules. were no and, rules. I mean, exactly. I know we want it to be more like military in terms of instruction, and we're all doing the same thing at the same time. However, We're not. There's, I think it's more like a flock of birds where everybody kind of doing their own thing, but we move people together. People just talking, and then they're a little angry hotep on Facebook saying, <laughs> "Y'all ain't y'all done boycotting the Super Bowl? Oh, y'all watching the Super Bowl now? Or y'all watching the NFL now? Y'all support like it's it, and everybody was like, Meanwhile, oh, he's man, on his phone. We're supposed to be.'" <laughs> <laughs> I got two phones One for the game But you know what I Actually I think that language Does more to hurt Us I as a so Cause I let's agree. be real Cause let's be real If you wanna argue That the people Who boycotted the NFL Didn't accomplish anything mm-hmm. Okay that's debatable However The people who did Not Excuse me The people who didn't boycott mm-hmm. They didn't accomplish Anything either Yeah Nobody did anything and as much as you want to throw stones from the other side, it's not, not like it's not like making you a part think, of the one percent now. But I tell you what, if if I, I mean it is what it is. I Kaepernick, I would like to hear what he would have to say. I wish he would have been more vocal because I, I mean, so. even though he's not the leader, he's the leader. But because he did a Nike he commercial say that aired during <laughs> football games, yeah, it's it's, it's bad. It's kind of like. Uh, uh, but you know, all in all, he could have went live anything. on Facebook or some shit, and, something. and everybody could have said something to the something. people that were supporting him. But I remember coming in the night before Super Bowl, and um, I was the news. I leave the news on for, I mean, the TV on for my dogs, mm-hmm. so they have something to do while I'm gone. And um, I see a mug shot of somebody who looked like they got hit by Wolverine, <laughs> and Bow Wow yeah. is. That's what I'm gonna say. Up. Bow Wow managed to take the Super Bowl headlines, and he and out of all the celebrities that were in Atlanta, Bow Wow managed to be the most trending topic during Super it? Bowl weekend. <laughs> how does he do how it? How does he do it? Bless do you his think heart. he was like, so, I bet you won't hit me? Like, how, you know how women do? No. Oh. You know what? How That's does Bow nice. Wow still headlines when everyone was watching the Super Bowl? Did you say headlines? 107 First of million. All, that or was whatever. before the Super did, Bowl. I think, did you say headlines as a joke? It was like a pun? <laughs> of course. Because, wow, his face was, his head was lined up. <laughs> First of all, you know it must be serious when people are defending Bow Wow on social media. Well, no, they should, though. No, they should. I mean, he was a, a victim of domestic violence. And it's not funny. Like, we're, we're laughing about it. But the reality is, if the pictures were of her with those scratches on her face, right. mm-hmm. it would have been an outrage. Uh, Gloria Allred <coughs> would have flown to Atlanta and held a press conference in the Super Bowl hype, saying that Bow Wow needed to be in jail. Like, it would have been ridiculous if that w- if the picture was reversed. Mm-hmm. The fact that it was Bow Wow, Little Duval was like, <coughs> Little Duval was the only person that was like, yo, Bow Wow needs help. Everybody else is making fun of it. I was talking to one of my friends today, and he was like, I kind of felt like it was an even fight. Like, that's not fair. Why? He is being... Because Bow Wow's little? 
I guess he was saying that. No, that's know, not that cool. probably was a short a jab at a short guy. That's not cool because if you saw the mug shots, you looked at her face. She looked like she deserved to be there, <laughs> didn't she? <laughs> she like she deserved to be in jail. Well, she she definitely. Um, I heard she hit him with a lamp. <laughs> yeah. Well, <clears throat> this is the thing. I'm sorry. I remember when you when I interviewed them this summer when I did the cover for Rolling Out with them. Mm-hmm. Right. We were supposed to do a party with them like a week later, right? And I feel like I should write a story about this because it's just it just shows that domestic violence happens on both ways. So they were supposed to do a cover party, and I got a phone call that she had basically jumped on him, and they and after he went to the club, she didn't want him to go, and then she got in his face and jumped on him, and there was an altercation, and then she called the police on him and said that he was the one that hit her. So. And and we had to kind of keep it quiet so that the party could go on. But I was told that, you know, by someone that works with them or works with the show that they were trying to keep that down, that she had had him put in jail and she was the one that literally, you know, attacked him um, and that she gets upset if he doesn't do what she wants him to do. So... Does he have a child with her? No. What does she do? And what but the I fuck? did hear that um, from several other guys who have, um, you know, are uh, her fans... Uh, her that she is uh, very good at what she does so he's is, very much in love with her I guess she's got her skill set to get him into her hey man it ain't no head that good I don't give a damn no ain't uh, no know, head that's what every guy says ain't but no yet, head but yet that's gonna people, have me getting out of jail happy to see you I don't give no I don't no I, no I'm not I'm not getting arrested well, then on why domestic the guys, then, why do, then why do guys keep Going back to girls, we all you guys have said this before. Crazy girls have cra- have great sex. I used to think that. What what changed? Some your niggas mind? are stupid. But what changed your mind? Just tired of being looking like Bow Wow going to a job <laughs> interview or something. I promise. It seemed like Yo. every time I had a job interview or something, I always went there looking flicted. You remember the word flicted? Yes. That, that t- I had to take it back. I go to go to a job interview or something looking flicked. and I got tired of every time a big something happens. <laughs> The night before, the day before, there's an altercation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because that just, was that night before, right before his. Big- ain't nobody got time to be arguing with these hoes every holiday and every special event. You can't, can't even go to the barbecue because y'all ass is arguing and shit. Man, ain't nobody got time for all that you shit. Grow out of you that guys day. talk no, very, very mature, not. but yet there are lots of men out there dealing oh, no, with this to. on a regular basis. That's that's very so unfortunate. What was your, what and there was, are women that are dealing with domestic violence as well. Absolutely, but I think it's equally offensive on both sides. And if we're going to be, I mean, the public outrage. You see that meme where they place Rihanna. Rihanna's picture next to Bow Wow's picture. Mm-hmm. Rihanna's picture caused public outrage. However, what people don't talk about, and I had seen Chris Brown before at an event, at a concert with scratches on his face from Rihanna before everything happened with her face. I mean, her his face didn't look like hers, but he definitely had scratches much like, um, it wasn't as bad as Bow Wow, but there were scratches all over him. He's very fair-skinned. Um, so I think, you know, the problem is I can admit as a woman that that our culture doesn't take it seriously when a man is being brutalized. And that's not that's not fair. We got you, you guys should speak up. Me, me too. Say but, it. Say it. Me too. But 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 women don't have to speak up. They just you just look at their face and oh my god. Why can't people just look at Bow Wow's face and be like oh my god? But you guys should speak up because the Me Too movement has started because women started speaking up. Like you guys need to speak. Terry Crews yeah, is but, doing it. Yeah, but I mean, next okay. To Terry. But we also we also have weaponized being a victim. And so like even even during that situation with Rihanna, Rihanna knew that she swung first. Rihanna knew that she attacked him. That she scratched him So on and so forth And that it wasn't her, Their first time However While everybody else Was being outraged She didn't say Hold on everybody I attacked him first She shut her mouth And let everybody Do no, the talking she for Yes she, she did No she didn't She went on She inter- let that shit ride She did not and, let and it Chris ride Brown She went on interviews and Chris Brown tried to be a up. man Yeah she played it up She played it up Kevin Her team, her team played Her team Who, who was that that to, She did the interview with Was uh, it Oprah Di- I think it's Diane Sawyer Di- Diane Sawyer yeah. mm-hmm. She played She wore a white dress too Yeah she did Like a white suit or something get yeah, the fuck out mm-hmm. yeah exactly she went the other direction with it she, she knew did. what this was for but her but before when I saw when we saw him and people were saying oh she you know he with that girl you know Brianna you know she's an island girl she got a fiery temper like they laugh it off like that's something that you know is sexy or that men should be okay with whoa whoa what are we talking about that's Brianna not- being sexy or are Brianna re- both both. Nah, those are separate. Come on. Are they? Because they're saying Everybody, oh, she's I an island some, girl. She's got a temper. You I've know. seen some ugly island bitches that are not sexy. Do they all have tempers? I don't know. <laughs> you don't get if you ugly, you don't get a chance. I ain't you all. don't get a chance to be a, have a bad temper. Well, 
points being that stereotype has been said. Well, she's from she's from the islands and they're fiery, and that's an excuse. For no, it's not. That's that's like saying boys will be boys. Y'all don't want to let that shit ride no well, more. Well, it's work, but that does no, work. Boys that has are worked who for you years. Teach them to be. Until me too. Until me too. Boys will be boys has worked. And no, boys will be boys is real though. There's something biological about boys will be boys. It's, they, they didn't just say that because well, there's also something biological about the fact that when a woman is emotional, she's unable to control her hands. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, 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 because we expect well, we have, we have, no, we hormonal. expect we have we estrogen expect surges. Men to, to estrogen uh, surges. <laughs> no, no surge. There's no estrogen men. surge yes, in those is. type of situations. Yes, when it comes is. to conflicts between men and women, we yeah. expect men to keep their hands to themselves. That's true. I don't. Regardless, you, we do. I, that's the yeah. that's the standard. If you hit a woman, you're in the wrong. Even if she hits Even if you, she hits you. That's true. you're in the wrong. If you hit her back, that's true. I couldn't tell you how many times I've seen a video where some girl has gotten into a dude face and mushing him and doing all yeah, of that shit, and that. nobody stops her. Right. But as soon as he swing, oh, 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 oh that's true. Because you know that she's taking right. it far too far. You gotta be fa- you gotta be fast. They don't have time to get to you. No, because you, you're, you no, quick, if you go well, under, but, but go I mean, up. What about the fact that men, if a man hits no, you, I practice he's stronger. He's stronger, so he's gonna hurt. He's gonna hurt worse. Mm, there's some heavy-handed women. <laughs> mm. Have you seen some of these big baby D ass bitches? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, but that but that girl Bow Wow's chick is not a big girl. I don't know. I don't know her at all. What does she do? I don't know. She crazy as she hell. Is she is a Instagram model. Oh, okay. I'll tell you right now. The, the next nigga she with. A book. No, not a, a book. book. <laughs> she better not write a fucking book. <laughs> she may. She has her title on, on her nah, Instagram. Now she get is angry too legend. quick. She can't get her words out. <laughs> her her title on her Instagram page is Urban Legend. I'm sorry, Crystal. Do you Urban really? Legend. Did you really think Britney Bundle Girl wrote oh that God. book? Come on. She didn't write that. Somebody wrote that for her. <laughs> Bundle with Britney. <laughs> Come on. He really thought she like she wrote that. Come he on. Didn't. Did no you? way he didn't possible. Think that. He gave her the benefit of the doubt. He's like, no she's way possible. pretty. She wrote it. <laughs> what does that have? To, y'all just putting all kind of words in my mouth that have nothing to do with what we were talking about. Yeah, yeah but I don't think all island chicks are sexy, though. I, I don't know why I went back to that. What but. about sex? I just, I, well, we didn't go back. You did. Yeah, uh, I did. But what, what I was saying I don't is, give a damn where you from. I said sassy. If you sassy. swing on me, that's a red line. I don't give a fuck how fine you, that's a, a red line. Well, I mean, Yo, like, I'm done with you. Barbados. I don't give a fuck. Trinidad. I, Saint Egypt, Thomas, Saint I Corey. don't give a fuck. Africa, no. Africa, no, not even Africa. The no, mother, the motherland. Your motherland. Hey. I was like, your Nubian, <laughs> Nubian goddess. Hey, you can cuss so me the, out as the, much Wakanda? as you want to, but Wakanda. you better stand your ass right there. <laughs> he said, "What if she's from Wakanda? <laughs> You're not gonna let a Wakandanese motherfucker hit you." Hey, the Wakanda motherfuckers can fight. They could. The Dora Miller J, nigga, you yeah. did. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Well, I just, I mean, I hear what you guys are saying, but there's a lot of men dealing with a lot of bullshit. I, I commend, <laughs> yeah. and, and I want to formally say it, I commend Bow Wow for exhibiting restraint. <laughs> well, you don't know that he did. Maybe he, his just didn't show. But but if you're hitting from a, he, if, if you're hitting from a defensive standpoint, non, you, you might not be able to like. You might not get any good. Like it might glance a glancing blow. The, the so you're making w- fun of it. No, you ma- you are. I'm you're saying, making fun. If you get your back like he was doing a windmill. Right. If you get your, <laughs> Hold on, do that again. What was that? It the, was the a listeners windmill. can't hear can't see that. But it was a windmill. They already it. saw it. They can rewind as YouTube. That little fake It was a windmill. Was I'm telling you, it was like it when was, you get it yeah. going so that you can't the person can't get close to your face. No, it's obvious she was in his shit. So it's it's not like he had it was looking straight up at her. He wasn't squaring up. He was getting mold. <laughs> and she looked like a pit bull too in that in that that uh that mug shot. Well that's one good She idea. still looks scary to me. She didn't look scary to you on that mug shot? I'll be kicked up. Hey, I'm <laughs> that's funny. That is funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got one in. He should have got one in. I'm she sure touched he him. Did. He should have got I'm one. I'm sure even if even <laughs> if he was just trying to like Push her from getting in his face. I'm sure he got something in, but maybe he, maybe she could overpower him. Yeah, yeah. I. Well, guys, you know the Super Bowl was lackluster. I will admit that. But it was whack. But because wasn't no black people enthused. 
wasn't no that's not why. wasn't no spice. That's not why. Uh, halftime Travis show. Scott is Everybody one of the was just there to get their the, checks of yes. our time. Tra- and the, and the Kardashians were here. The the Travis Scott is a, is a very very one of the biggest rappers out right now. He was there. He performed. Yit to D. Yit to D. <laughs> well, I saw that. Uh, I think it might have been D. L. Hughley was complaining about the fact that Travis Scott didn't have a shirt on and that his nipples were showing. And that when Janet Jackson performed and showed a nipple, things went badly. Does D.L. Hughley feel Not like... Not Travis Scott. You're talking about uh, oh, Adam, Adam, Adam Levine. Levine. My bad. Yeah. Does D.L. Hughley feel like Adam Levine's nipples and Janet Jackson's nipples are equally attractive? I, I I don't know. That is just something that he shared. I don't know about the attractive. I think he was trying to say equal. If you had a no nipple rule... <sighs> I people, But people were upset. If you had a zero tolerance on nips... People were upset that Adam Levine performed with no shirt on for most of the halftime show. Did you see that? Were I don't know. I, I didn't like his performance at all. I, I thought that it was just a Are you a Maroon bad, 5 fan? I, <laughs> yeah, whatever that group was. <laughs> <laughs> Maroon, I'm a Maroon, I like Maroon, Maroon 5, 5 yeah, fan. I'm, I'm, well, fan. I liked him better when PJ joined, you know. See, I mean, but that, that that makes you irrelevant because you can't say I only enjoy something if it's black. Like that's No, just, they're they're a good they're they're, they're a sellout that. band. They sell yeah, out they do. when they, they go they places. Are. They're dope. He's he's on the voice or he was yeah, on the voice. Yeah. They're a very popular band. It should have been better. Okay. It should That's have fair. been better. It That's wasn't fair. it was it was mediocre. Okay. It should have so been better. So you think better. the performance should have been better. Even if Big Boy and um so Travis Scott weren't there, it right. should have been better. Just their part of it. Okay. It just That's looked fair. it looked weird. Yeah. Their performance looked weird. I mean the Adam the, Levine singing I like the way you move. It looked weird. It was weird. That is strange. His haircut. I didn't even see it, that. it was like it was a lot of little stuff. The shirt it's, off the whole time. Yeah. On all that pasty white skin. It was desperate. With the super long torso. His it was tattoos desperate. were very inky. Like it they was were very brand new. Like it was yeah, henna. Like, like he, it was henna. Like he got it out the NFL Live experience or something. <laughs> it was just. It was very mediocre. They didn't. They didn't shut it down. The fans weren't even really excited at the, the yeah, Super Bowl. At the, at yeah, the it was just. Mm. Yeah. And then you had Tom Brady, old ass, coming again, playing a young team that nobody really supported yet. It was just everything was wrong. Well, I think people were. There were a lot of people that are big supporters of Tom Brady, so they're happy. Well, if the NFL did right by black folks, then it would have been a totally different experience. How about that? <sighs> well, we're just gonna. Agree they could have had Jay Z. You never know. Oh my God, Jay Z has. Jay Z said- is not a great performer. Why can we get a uh, Jay Z is one of my favorite artists. So let's yeah, he's, let's he's stop. He's not a great performer. Let's stop. But he mm-hmm. is a a non performer. <laughs> Jay Z's concert is everybody he's else rapping his lyrics. Much he's he a, he, he has, became much better, he and has, then he's he's also learned like to partner. He's learned to partner with different acts. And no, 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 no. You cannot tours. say he's a better performer because him and Beyonce trade songs. <laughs> Beyonce's out there fucking <laughs> no, dancing, yeah. switching, prior killing, to that. It's crazy. shaking her lace free and shit, and then Jay Z comes out, uh, uh, and the crowd raps his whole song. He's putting his, the mic out to the crowd for half the song. He does. And they know the words, Jay-Z of course. Jay-Z never forgets a lyric. Yes. <laughs> he don't even say most of them, though. Oh. <laughs> so I'm, Jay-Z's I'm a fan, not a non-performer. He's, he's, not, he, he's, a, he's a non-performer. Y'all hating on Jay. This he ain't. does not. You know he's not a he's not a performer. He's never been. He said he wasn't a performer. He's yeah. tried to, like, mm-hmm. beef his game up. He's he's my, fav, he's my favorite rapper. But the performer, no. No. Have you, have you seen most rappers' performances? Uh, there are some good rappers that are good performers. They're, they're typically are. not the best. Travis Scott did better than Jay Z did. Just did, in, in the Jay Z is just not a great he's just not a performer. So he's a his, he's got clout, and that's it. I think, I think Busta Rhymes is probably my Busta best. Busta Rhymes rap performer. kills it. Busta Rhymes right. brings it. LL Cool J kills it. Yeah. Buzz Rhymes brings it, but like yeah. no pyrotechnics, no nothing. He's it gonna just, make you feel it. Yeah. Kanye is actually very dope. Yeah, I like Kanye. Performer. Too. He does well. I haven't seen Kanye. All right, guys. All right. Well, we've got to end this early tonight because yeah. I have a, a previous engagement. I didn't get to offend anybody, though. I do have a offensive story. Well, I think story. you did the Mexicans. No, initially. not the Mexicans this time. I went to St. Thomas. Is it me? Okay, so we're talking about island chicks, right? Do all island chicks have those bumps around their nipples? I, I went to a strip club in St. Thomas. I promise every stripper in there had the big bump. Not little bumps, big bumps. You know what I mean? I'm not mad at little bumps around in the areola. Have you ever seen that? I don't know Can anybody vouch about. me? I want to no. just... Re- Rihanna don't have that, does she? Kevin. So I haven't seen Rihanna's titties. <laughs> <laughs> Not up close. He sounded like an innocent kid. Like, I ain't seen I'm Rihanna's her, her titties. I didn't do it. <laughs> her see through shirts and stuff, you would be able to see those bumps around there. What are those bumps? Who are you talking about? Someone on Areola. It's like Nestle Crunch. Well, and there you go. Those are probably hair bumps. Maybe. Oh St. St. Thomas. They you ever suck a titty and do one of these? And, <laughs> and to be fair, I wasn't in the best strip club in St. Thomas. It was really, really. Ugh. 
So you're just basically. It might have been a disease. They I don't had. trust strip clubs outside of three cities: Atlanta, Miami, Miami Houston. Houston, and Houston. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Everywhere else. <laughs> if you're sucking a, a stripper's titty, mm. shame on you, sir. <laughs> shame on you, shame Coco Mouth, Coco Butter Mouth. They don't let mouth, you do that. Whatever that shit is. They don't let you do that. Baby oil mouth ass. Yes, they do. <laughs> In the champagne room. All right, y'all. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Music love life. Music love life. That is disgusting. Why did you really see bumps on the titties? Yeah. Why were you up that close to the titties? Um, I was a strip club. What are you talking about? How do you not be close to a titty in a strip club?